Well, good morning and welcome to Daily Reflections and day five of Golden Ram Moments. And today we're going to be doing Encountering God in Nature. You know, the grandeur of creation. In Psalm 8, 3 to 4, it says this, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? that people, that you will even care for them. From the vastness of the universe to the intricate patterns on a butterfly's wings, God's grandeur is evident. As we gaze upon the heavens and the earth, we are reminded of the Creator's magnitude and the wonder that he cares for each one of us. You know, seasons as symbols of God's faithfulness. Genesis 8.22 says this, As long as the earth endures, sea time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. You know, nature's seasons mirror the seasons of our lives. Just as winter gives way to spring, our moments of hardship can yield to times of joy. These cycles in nature are enduring reminders of God's unwavering faithfulness and promise. You know, finding peace in nature's stillness. Uh, Psalm 23, 2 to 3 says, He makes me lie down in creep pasture. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. You know, in the tranquility of nature, our souls find rest. The gentle flow of a stream or the sincerity of a meadow can calm our anxious hearts and point us to the Prince of Peace. You know, nature is a call of worship. In Psalm 96, 11 to 12, it says, Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees and the forests sing for joy. You know, nature doesn't, rev- uh, doesn't just reveal God, it worships him. Every sunrise heralds his glory and every mountain stands as a monument of his strength. When we witness nature's beauty, we're invited to to join in in this grand chorus of praise. You know, let's just pray about that. Lord, thank you for the beauty of nature. May we always see your handiwork in the world around us and cherish these golden moments of connection with you. Teach us to worship you with the same pure joy and the reverence that nature does. I don't know about you, but I think uh, whenever I go out and walk, you, you just, it amazes me that people can't see that there's a creator God in nature because it's just wonderful. I, I've put a few um, pictures on my Facebook page recently where nature and the sunrise, sunset and sunrise are just so absolutely amazing. And, you know, when we go for a walk and we look around us, isn't it wonderful how we see um, that beauty? It lifts us. When we just begin to spend time to observe it it lifts our soul it builds us up and it produces golden moments that really refresh our health so and i'm going to carry on tomorrow so i hopefully see you then and uh, look forward to sharing some more golden moments with you so until tomorrow